Do you ever notice with men, there always seems to be this like, not me now, but there's always this element of violence under the surface and it could explode at any moment. Yeah? Growing up, I learned how to act a certain way to avoid violence. If someone wants to fight, I show them. I'm not afraid of violence and I come from, I'm from a farm in Kerry. My father was a cunt. I didn't get on with him. He told me not to be violent, but he was a violent man. My brother was also a cunt. But I had a good relationship with him, but he was a cunt. To be honest, I left to get away from there because it wasn't the life I wanted. Ger lies down. So I'm lying in the park and there's this gang of teenagers catcalling shouting and everybody going past. And there's this big chubby white girl and she starts commenting on me, on my shoes and on what I'm wearing and on my hair. Hey, what the fuck are you doing, you poor skinny white guy? What's up with your hair, dude? What's up with my hair? Ha <laughs> I'm Irish, fuckers. Do you want some whiskey? I got some whiskey, you want whiskey? Sit down. And we're talking and we're cracking jokey jokes and before I know it, um, I've met some new friends. And it turns out you can be an arrogant fuck, ma fucking man out here. I can be whoever I want to be. And then I'm on 42nd Street and I walk into a bodega and this Hispanic guy goes, hey amigo, what are you doing in here? And I take no crap, I go, hey man, I'm just looking for some smokes, man. Give me two beers pronto. I'm an Irish guy. I need my beer. And he laughs and he's like, Irish amigo. Uh oh. Hey, Franco, look at this Irish guy just walk in. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't care. I'm like, I'm looking for a bar, pricks. And they repeat, Oh, you're looking for an Irish bar. You're in Hell's Kitchen, amigo. You better be tough. And I don't care because nobody knows me. And the bar they suggest is called Madigan's full of Irish yanks, no doubt. Bring a gun, amigo. They kill for fun in there. But I think Irish yanks. I'm just gonna sound like their granddaddy. More pints there, young fella. Quick smack. The following is a story told to me by too many people, literally all my life. You seem like a nice woman. Thanks. Not happening. Uh, did they come down to us? Sorry, I know what you're saying. I'm just drinking a few today, feeling lively. Stay where you are. I've got a girlfriend in Ireland, and I met another girl last night. I'm a mess, not a threat. <laughs> You're from Ireland? That's nice. You on holiday? I'm here seeking my fortune. It's a nice holiday. I wouldn't call it that. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not stuck for money anyway, that's for sure. Maybe I should work. I don't know what I'm going to do. You want a drink? No. I want to read this. i got to read it today before the library closes. Okay, I'll take one, maybe. I won't be disturbing you. Read your book. Two drinks, bartender. Okay. Jesus, I can't lift them. <laughs> I'm all right, Ma. I can help. Now I know why they say Hell's Kitchen is so dangerous. You've no backs on your stools. I would hold him to sit on the low chairs. Local man dies in Hell's Kitchen falling off bar stool. Someone help him into bed. No, no, ma. 
Don't you know nothing, Ma? You can't sleep after you hit your head like this. Stay standing, then. I tell him up to the bar for you, missus. Who is this guy? What the fuck? Is he taking the piss? <laughs> he has every right to falling off a stool in the middle of the day. I'm not. Who are you? Gerard Power. What brings you around here? I heard this is the best bar in New York. From who? Mr. Baloney Man. You in the States long, mister? A week. Working? Not yet. Spending mammy's money for us. No. What? I'm looking for work. What can you do? Barman, security, anything. You want to be a barman? In this bar? I'm not looking. But I could ask around. Irishman wants to work in bar. That's another newspaper headline right there. <laughs> Irishman wants to work in a bar. Listen, give him a drink on me. Just one now, you hear? I ain't made of money. She likes you, so. She said anything I like. You're doing okay. You're lucky to get this. If you could go anywhere, why did you come here? I like this place. This is the Wild West, right? Whatever you say. I think the people here are fascinating. Are you a journalist? Why not? I can be anything out here. That's what I think. If I had a choice, I'd move to Long Island. At the weekends, I could ride around the lake. Are you into boats? You know, I used to be a fisherman back home. You don't seem strong enough. Soft hands. I'm pretty strong. I can show you. But you, who cares if I'm strong, right? You don't care about that. I care about talking, being real. Don't just say things, think about things, like people you see in a movie, like actors. I like actors, people who, you know, I'm tired of ordinary people who just say what other people say. Isn't everybody meant to be unique or something? That's me. That's who I am. You're saying what I'm thinking. But even that just sounds like something I've heard before, you know? <coughs> totally, it is, right? I know, I'm like, I'm not allowed to copy somebody else. Okay. I'm my own man, that's me. Okay. I do my own thing. Okay, 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 okay. easy. Mikey, we gotta get this fella a job. I, I just can't look at him around here anymore. Ma, who the fuck is this guy? Who cares? Why do you care? I care. I want to talk to him. Maybe offer him a job. Pat, sit down. Go upstairs. Watch TV. Why don't you just do what I need you to do? Okay, I will. I will. Not now. I will. Don't go near him. Okay, okay. Just going to give myself a glass of soda, right? Having a good time, fruitcake? You want to join us for a drink or something? No. Sure. How's the head? This I can tell you, I'm not right in the head. Pat, get over here. I need you to do a job for me. In a bit, Ma. Pat! In a bit, Ma! We'll make it quick then. Don't appreciate you taking. Making wise cracks about me, right? It's my bar. It's my neighborhood. My great grandfather came over here over a hundred years ago. 
Brought his wife, two children, and five more when he got here. One was my grandmother, and she built this bar, and we don't like wisecracks. Hey, so we're both Irish then. I'm Irish and I'm American. Pax. Big difference. Pax. Stop acting like a tough guy. I'm not a tough guy. Not acting like a tough guy either. You're right. I made a wisecrack I did, and you know what? It wasn't my place. No, sir, it was not. I'm only learning about your country, so forgive me. Sure, if you were in my country, you'd have probably made a wisecrack in the wrong place too, aren't I right? That's true. But if it would satisfy you to fight, I certainly grant you the pleasure. I'll never deny a man an assist and assault in my fists. But if a beer and a shake of my fist would do the same trick, well, I won't deny you that either. You give me a glass of my own beer. Some apology. But an apology nonetheless. What kind of Irish man is this? He's like something out of a movie. I don't know you, and you don't know me. What's wrong with that? You need to get out of here, kid. I ain't kidding. Jeez, Pats. This tough guy stuff is just not you. I'm from here, Lisa. We're all tough guys to them. You too. You don't know what you got here, kid. She's no angel. Shut the fuck up, Pats. Finish your drink, guy. Then beat it. Guy. He's not a tough guy amongst tough guys, but his mom owns the bar, you know what I mean? He's back from service. He was a nice guy, but now he hates all the PRs in the neighborhood. He didn't even see him before. The Polish, the blacks. But his own father came over from the DR, the businessman. He hooked up with his ma there. Some businessman, what? He got himself a business? <laughs> Maybe he thinks I'm gonna make moves on his ma, like his old man did. You like her? <coughs> Why not? Get this fire? Get a big, beautiful son to protect me? You think that's funny, but some guys think like that, believe me. You see it all in this place, I mean it. Everything around here happens, it's fucked up. You been on 42nd Street yet? The hookers, the transvestites, blowing sailors. It's a cliche, but they're all kids from the suburbs looking to be their real selves. You've seen everything, huh? That's how it is. You think you've seen everything. There's no such thing as everything. You shot a gun? I don't want to shoot a gun, but maybe someday I'll shoot a gun. I don't want to, but you know I will. Bang. You ever shot a gun? Sure. Is it crazy in Ireland like here? It's civil war. Some places crazier than here. We fight, we kill, stupid things. Revenge, that kind of thing. Christ, I've seen many tough times. I'm more of a lover. Maybe you can't tell. Me too, I laugh at that stuff. I ain't scared. This is all fun for me. In these walls, I've learned not to care. In the end, who cares, you know? Be happy, be free. That's what I believe in. You don't care about a damn thing. Eh? Oh. And now my glass is empty and I don't want to leave. You got us, sorry. He barks and he bites. He seems soft. He's not gay or bi or something. He gets with girls. You do? No. I don't think so. I'm like a little sister to him, I don't know. I know how to get a drink, what's it? I ain't ordering a drink. I'm going. Lisa says you're a good guy and you mean business, that's fair. That's how it goes? Tough town around here. You seem like you could be sheriff.
My uncle used to live around here many years ago. I wonder if I could ask your ma if she knew. That's kind of why I'm here. I'm on a bit of a mission from my own ma, this man's sister, you know. And um, his name was Ger Power, same as me. And apparently he used to live around here in the 50s, which is the last we heard of him. Good guy, I liked him a lot. But one day he stopped writing home, and that was that. And my ma, God love her, was never the same since. They were real close. Where did he live? Hell's Kitchen. That's all we know. Didn't she have his address when she wrote to him? She did. But, uh, it was an address in the East Village. You see, in his last few letters, he mentioned his plans to move to Hell's Kitchen. And he'd even started working here as a longshoreman. But he never sent a letter from there. He was a big guy. Like you. But look very like me though on the face. Is that ring a bell? Maybe you're too young. Maybe. When are you talking about? 1953. I was barely alive then, man. That's what I was thinking. But maybe someone like your ma remembers. Ma! You remember a guy called? Jer Power. Jer Power! Irish guy! Used to live around here, looked like this Irish punk, only bigger. That's it. <coughs> oh, huh? He looked like me. No photograph? No. <laughs> no address? No. Jeff Howard. Where was he long show, man? What, what pier? What's the one near here? 84. That's the one. I know it's a long shot, but I'm here and I promised my mom. I mean, he's probably dead, right? I just gone. Some men get on a boat and just blow away. Out of sight. Sit down. An Irish guy goes missing in the great big United States. Old story. Sorry, I can't help you. On your mother. Have another drink. Well, your son here has asked me to leave, so I'd better be going. Huh? Don't get into it, Ma. Uh, You're leaving, right? I can't. 100%. But look, if it was possible, could I hang on? I'll be quiet. You just never know who might come in and recognize me because I look like him. I'm only asking because of my mother. Entirely up to you. But of course. Have another drink. Ma. Only if it's okay with you, Pat. Ma! Okay. Okay. I'd like to see you recognize this guy. Paddy Irishman, the human photograph. We could put you in the window, maybe. <laughs> I know it's your bar. But let me buy you another drink. It's Ma's bar. Damn right. Okay. Whiskey. The good stuff, Ma, charge and proper. Let me drop this over to herself. How'd it go? Yeah, I have my ways. I'm a man of peace. I thought you said you were going to be quiet. I will be. Then why are you yapping to Lissa there? We will be. Why don't you just let him talk? The deal was he sits in the corner and keeps quiet. Ain't that right, donkey? If that's what you actually want. Give all the pets. Will I stand here? I ain't looking for trouble. That's a good lad. Jerry, I'm gonna go. Where are you gonna go? A friend's place. Where's that? 320 West 52nd, five blocks, five blocks up 10th Ave. Maybe I could meet you there later. I wanna stay here on account of my mother. Okay. 
Well, I'll be there. She's apartment 27. You know how apartments work? No. Don't be smart. Bye. Bye. Bye, Lisa. Gonna get another drink for myself and Pat. The good whiskey for the big man. You be careful. You don't know who that man is. That was too risky. You take too many risks and you'll see what happens. I take too many risks. Sure. Do you know that? How do you know that? Because what you did there was crazy. You don't know anything about paths. He's not a tough guy. You said it. And you are? Yeah. You better believe it. My father, even my mother, Christ. You know, sometimes when I see a 10-year-old, I think, how could anyone treat a kid like that? What happened? Nothing. Christ, nothing. The community I'm from, it's very unstructured. What's up is what's down. The older people who should know better are actually living in a cloud. It's chaos. This is chaos. I know. I read about the two girls found dead in a Hell's Kitchen hotel in their teens, early 20s, unidentifiable because their heads and hands missing. Did you see the photo? Yeah. We photograph everything here. I know. Do you ever make love to a photograph? Sure. And you're making love and they're hot, but then you think, who are they? Like, who is it? Because they're inside your body now. And you kind of know nothing about them, just their big arms or the proportion of their shoulders. Or a face that reminds you of other faces except their eyes, which look at you like a stranger would. Everything is strange, like it would be for a blind man who can't see the room they're in, but can touch everything. So the experience is just surface. Smooth skin that you try to penetrate somehow, but it's just flat and inside too. You can't learn anything or feel anything coming back, and that's when I just shut off. I've hit a wall and it's not erotic anymore. I was turned on, but not anymore. What's changed? A realization, of course, but it's a realization I keep having to have over and over. I'm not a picture. I'm real. Oh, yeah? You're smooth. You too. Man walks into a bar, says, ouch. <laughs> ah, you're back. I was hoping you'd say that. And you'd be keen in the bar like that too. What can I do for you? I've been told it's a job. Who told you? Lisa. Lisa told you. She wants you here. What's your experience? Not much, but you've worked in your uncle's bar and you know how to pour a pint of Guinness but not the cocktail. Yada, yada, yada. It's true. That's what they tell us to say. But I'm a worker all the same, and that counts for a lot. But are you a worker? Damn straight. In America, money doesn't grow on trees. You must be getting your money from somewhere. I'm flat broke. Hmm. You see those three men there? My uncles. Kicked out of Ireland. 1923. I.R.A. Landed here and got support from sympathetic Americans. That sympathy ran out too. A tough reward for good men. They were heroes. So I see you're being very careful with your story. But let me tell you, and at this bar, we support the men who fought the good fight. 
but I'm just an Irish guy looking for a job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Has the sympathy been drying up? Look, I don't think we should be having this conversation, okay? Maybe it is drying up. Or maybe I'm just a man off the boat who needs a job, okay? Maybe that's what I am. I can see why Lisa likes you. She likes me. Four and a half New York, I'd say. I guess the women around here like the Irish men. No, they like any kind of men, dirty whores. <laughs> Look who's back. This fucking guy. Looking for a job. I know the job he wants. Banging Lissa. You been around her place? No. Ha! Don't really want him around here, Ma. Who the hell is he? Don't worry. I got his number. His phone number? Did you call around to Sully's yet? Yeah. When? This morning. And did you mention the pawn job? Yeah. Did you? Not yet. Not yet? But if you don't mention it to him soon, there's four more places looking to get that. Ever heard of a plenary review? When's that happen? I don't know. Any day, maybe. You don't know? Okay, so drop it. I don't want to rush the guy. You don't want to rush the guy? But what's all the waiting around for? If you don't want to say it, I can say it. No, I'll do it. But when? Ma, relax! Relax, he says. Yeah, relax. That's easy for you. I'm doing all the worrying and all the work, and I only ask for a small bit of help. I've been up and down 11th Avenue trying to sort this thing out for two weeks now. Try 25 years! I know! Take it easy, Ma! We're gonna get it! I should have done it myself. I worked too fucking hard to let this place fail. Because my big, stupid son couldn't talk to Jimmy Sullivan. Don't say I'm stupid. Well, what else are you? <laughs> you know I'm stunned anyway. That's not true. I had to beg the teachers in high school. Bullshit. You don't know the half of things I had to do. But that's all right. I need to relax. But I can't even get to do that. Why not? Go upstairs and relax. I'll run the bar. And if John and Christopher come in, sit down and relax, he says. All I wanted you to do, if you wanted to help me so bad, was to do what I asked you to do. Why is it always so hard? I do do that! And I'm doing that! Isn't that what I'm doing all my life? I don't stop doing things for you! Sorry for shouting. I made a mistake today. I'm sorry. I'll talk to him tomorrow, first thing. He's not there now anyway. So relax. Follow what you were on about. What's the backstory? Do you see that dilapidated building behind us? The city's giving it away free to a community organization. And I want it for my girls. Your girls? They're a retirement group. Ah, okay. Can I help with that? Hey, new sweetie pie. Hating your sweetie pie. I feel like I got me a rare worm. <laughs> okay, you're embarrassing me now. Kinda, not so bad. I thought I was gonna be a tough guy, 
but now I'm some fella from a chick flick. I was uh, looking at those bad photos, man. That one with the four children asleep on the fire escape. And they're really squeezed close in just their underwear because the night's so hot. And the biggest girl in the pile, you can't tell her age, is represented kind of sexually because her nipple is exposed. And the photographer left that in on purpose. And they're all by the same photographer, it seems. That other photo, that guy, he was obviously a tug, but a sexy young tug. But now he's shot in the face and is a dead sexy, sexy young tug. And that photo I like. It excites me, and isn't that the honest reason for thinking I like it? And there was all these images of car crashes too, with the victims still in the car, some still alive and looking at the camera. I was thinking, are they posing? Is this a stitch up? But then how could it be because the photos were matched with the police report, so they really, really were real people. And I think a cool thing would be to hang these photos on the wall really large and maybe reprint them over and over again to get a feel for that. And I mean, it's like here, how it feels real in New York. I can see the fire escapes and all the buildings, and of course it's real, but it's a whole other thing to be amongst them. These buildings, these walls, you can't penetrate them, right? What are they? I walked around the conference center on 42nd between 12th and 11th, and you know what I'm saying, listen. It's like being next to a really big man. It just feels so remarkable. Aren't I right? What better compliment to give something than to just say, it's remarkable, aren't I right? When we're gone, they'll be left. On that night, I'm the manager. I'm the manager. If something is wrong, just look at me. I'll let you know and just get right out of there. But it's going to be fine, so let me pace it out for you now, OK? There's the lobby. Now, it's small, actually. Most of the tickets are started on the street. But you see, when you come in, it'll be empty anyway. Everyone's already at the show. So first thing, OK, it's this size. It's small. Into the door first. Look left and look right. When you see Marco point the gun, and tell him to walk towards the box office. Follow him. He'll walk down a narrow hall. <coughs> then you look left, and there'll be the cloakroom girl. She's got Down syndrome, she'll be no problem. Just tell her it's okay just to get down, and then keep following Marco. Now you'll see me. Point the gun at me. And tell me to hand over the money. I could have $600 in cash. I'll start crying and acting confused. So point the gun at Marco and order him to do it. He'll do it, don't worry. He doesn't want to be a hero. Then take the money, put it in your satchel, tell us to get down, really angry please, and stay down. He'll stay down, especially if I tell him I'm scared, and I hold him tight. Then back out the door, put your gun away, take off your mask and just be cool. Walk into Manhattan, take off your jacket and hat maybe, or maybe you have a different hat ready to put on, and just like lay low and blend into the crowd and don't come near Hell's Kitchen for a few weeks. Then someday you'll come to my apartment, I'll let you know the coast is clear. Nobody knows you, Jair, nobody knows you're connected to me, so I'm safe, so stay away. You know what I'm saying? It's easy. Can I come check it out sometime? I've just told you what it's like.
each time I finish up with a woman, I feel a certain version of me has ended. I'm always getting older. You can't become the younger version of yourself. Like those kids on the fire escape, sleeping, a photographer looking down at them, praying on the excitement of their young lives. My inner child is long gone. My chance too. That was what I was. Not now. It's what I'm going to be now. Boom, boom, boom. Stick them up, suckers! Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You two fuckers, take it, take it, take it, take it. Bang! I don't be scared. I got no gun, I'm just using my fingers, fuck's sake. Okay. Who the fuck are you, bitch? Right, right. Don't fucking come near me. You don't know me. I don't know some crazy guy at the bar. Where, where are we with all these crazy people around here? I want to be somewhere where people aren't so crazy all the time. Good luck with that. What's your mom up to? She's out. Doing rounds? You know it. There's another place beside Moynihan's just before Just Fruit. Yellow Brick? You got it. That's our next target. Another retirement home there. Oh boy. Big plans, your mom. Big plans for this place. She'll be running the whole city before you know it. Oh yeah? Who's gonna stop her? Bigger fish. Bigger fish need a bigger boat. Are you crazy? As far as you're concerned, I'm just another crazy paddy just off the boat. You can't control yourself, can you? You like me like this. It fucking works for me. You know, Tina has asked me to be a bodyguard. She pays me to sit around the bar, let people know who I am. I don't say nothing. Just my presence. I pretend to be present. She doesn't need that kind of help. Why not? She's above board, under the radar. Just a lot of fingers and a lot of pies. She's a treasurer of a retirement group. Do you know what that means? The rest of the board are in their 80s. What happens in 10 years' time when they pop their caskets? She's left in charge, right? Nonprofits, that's her thing. Look at this place, it's tumbleweed. She's gonna breathe some life into this city. Fire and guns. So I guess you wanna be guns. I'm a fucking guardian angel. I walk on my own around the city outside. It feels empty, vacant. People are stick figures I pay no attention to. When there's too many stories, there's no story. That's what this city is. Background noise. I'm in Ireland when I write these words anyway, channeling some vague memory and my not so individual imagination. I got public imagination, see? As in, I imagine just the same shit that everyone else imagines. Imagine sitting in a coffee shop and shouting loudly for a coffee like a winner. Coming right up, sir. Hey! Hey! And they respond just like I want them to, because they don't know any better. Look at you. Don't pretend like you want it. You want me to want you, that's all. What are you trying to prove? You're embarrassing me. Now then. That's actually what I like. I like you to be real, that's all. You need this, don't you? You really need it, right?
push it with Patrick Sullivan agenda. I asked his brother, didn't say anything, but I dropped the ball and it could be done. He's not friends with Maguire anymore, that's their lawyer for a long time. Ma, we may be barking up the wrong alley. We'll need to get legal. Do you know anything about it? I do. You do? Ooh, Pat. Am I meant to put all my eggs in Maguire's basket? You could do worse. I'm not going to do that. Then what are you going to do? Anyway, maybe we shouldn't be discussing it out here. Why not? We've nothing to hide. Everything is above board. I know. Yeah. And what's he going to do? I'll take care of him. I got his number. What? His phone number? I'm with both of you, okay? I'm with your ma, and I'm with you. You're going to drop IRA bombs? Oh, I'm sorry, you're not IRA, I forgot. Someone like Jeff is very handy for us. He gets respect. We can do things with that. We're a quiet operation. We're a charity, basically, right? And he's a socialist revolutionary with a cause. He'll make sure people are on the right side. I'll keep you on the straight and narrow. <laughs> we'll have a socialist revolution in Hell's Kitchen yet. Free the Irish the world over. What's your big idea? Don't walk out like that! He didn't hear you. I'm not sure how much longer I can do this, Ma. Don't give me fucking coffee! What have you done? <laughs> you fuck! You don't think I don't know? Pets, get yourself together. Come in. What the fuck?
You wrecked my pants, you stupid fuck. What did you say? All right, man. Don't be so touchy. I'm just pissed because I fucking have to change these trousers now. Hey, babes, I'm kind of done with this place, babe. But everybody loves you here. Loves me. I want to get out of here. I feel so fake. Everyone acting like they're in a movie. There's no movie. Where are you going to go? Babe, I could walk five minutes and find anything I want. Probably Wall Street for me. I could make some money. Or maybe the West Village. I could try being queer for a while. Serious? Why not? Transformer. Be with all those wild childs. I mean, why am I here and not there? That's what I think. Yeah, I know what that means. Why are we here and not there? We could go together. I don't think you should. You're not being real right now. Don't worry, I know. Alicia, I need to be honest with you. I'm not the monogamous type. Okay. I'm super hot for you, really hot. But I need to find out who I am, and I feel this is my chance. So you want to get rid of me? No, I just want to explore things with other people. We can still hang out and have sex. Are you sleeping with someone else now? Of course not. I just don't, don't want to control you, you know? I'll try. I guess I need freedom. When I grew up, I had such a controlled life. On the farm, it should have been so exciting, all these men on big machines cutting silage. But I was kept away from the that part. I never did farm work. My mother was like, Jerry needs to study, but study what? I was just watching TV. And I used to think, if men did the work, then what was I? I was like a different being. My dad didn't know what to make of me. Hard to imagine you on an Irish farm. Sounds like yogurt to me. Yeah, but fuck them. If the lads can see me now, I got my own gun. I robbed the Broadway theater. I'm fucking a beautiful woman. That's you. I'm doing good, and now I have the balls to go for something different. We could go into town tonight and pick up some guys. That'd be fucking cool, baby. Like that, if I said baby in North Kerry, I'd get some doing from the lad. <laughs> it's a problematic world. It's like you telling me about being a young girl having sex with all these guys. And I would have thought that was so much fun, you know? But for you, it was traumatic, and that just blew my mind. Did I tell you that? Yeah, and I listened. <laughs> I care about you. Can you turn the lights down, please?
Hello, Tina? Hello? Hey, Pat. What's up with the door locked? Hang on, I'll come out. Where's Tina? Don't know. Probably that Irish guy. I don't think so. You alright? Drank a lot last night. You seem off. Yeah, well... Yeah, that fucking Irish guy, you still banging him? Seem a little off yourself? Yeah, I haven't slept so good. I know Tina. You know what, today's gonna be a bad day. Let's close the place down. Go home, come back tomorrow. Uh-uh, I need the tips. Maybe uh, we'll come back in the evening, we can open then. What about Tina? She said to close down any time like this, it's, uh, it's her idea. I feel like shit. Honestly, me too. I found out that Mr. IRA is leaving us high and dry. Can you believe that? Really? Yeah. How? He even said he could be gay, no shit. What? Gay? He doesn't know what he wants. How do I end up with such jerks? Okay. Well, there you go. You should go home and sleep it off. You'll get over it. Okay, what's up? <clears throat> Why is this locked? Something's up with you. You're acting weird. Forget it. Just go home. I ain't in the mood to get into it with you today. Hey, what are you doing? told you not to open it. What have you done? Me? No. I don't know. It must have been the Westies who did it. I don't know why. <laughs> ah. Why did you lock the door? Did you not call the cops? No. I don't know. Just, I need time to get my head around this. I wanted to protect you. Hello? <coughs> I didn't want you to see this. We have an emergency at Mulligan's Bar, 48th and 10th. You didn't need to see Someone's this. Someone's been murdered. Tina Spillane. Okay, 212. Two zero eight six zero three five. Okay, I'll wait. Did you do this? What? No. How could I? You know me. I guess. From when I was young. <coughs> How the fuck did you suspect me? I'm sorry. Jer! What's up? Not good. You should look in that room, it's Tina. We're waiting for the cops. What the fuck happened? Who did this? Westies, maybe? 